You may be wondering what a cocktail themed after the life of St. Clair tastes like. If you were thinking that it probably tastes like hair and pain and suffering and willful sacrifice, you'd be wrong. In actuality, a cocktail themed on the life of St. Clair is chocolatey and delicious. And no, it's not seasonal. You can enjoy this at any time of year. Join me, the bald-headed Franciscan, as I make St. Clair's cocktail, the Santa Clara. So the first thing we're going to start with is one cup of milk because St. St. Clair had very strong bones. And of course, she loved Kahlua. So one and a half ounces of Kahlua. And then we're going to pop in some of this Santa Clara Rompope, which uh, I guess is like a, a Mexican eggnog. I've never tried it myself, so I'm really excited to try it in this drink. Mm -hmm. We're going to do about a cup and a half. Yeah. So like I said, this drink is chocolatey and sweet, just like St. Clair. And rather brown, just like the habits of the Franciscans. Ew. I totally just got chocolate all over myself. Hold on a second. I'll save that one for later. Pull out an extra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah. Justin, does it have to be Hershey's uh, chocolate squirt? I'm fairly certain that yes, it does. As you know, we Catholics believe that matter matters just as much as form. And so the right kind of Hershey's chocolate must indeed be, be selected. All right, so <clears throat> I have my cup um, gilded, if you will, with my Hershey's chocolate syrup. I'm gonna add a couple ice cubes. Feel free to uh, take the whole mixture and just blend it in ice. Um, I don't have a blender handy, so I'm just gonna serve it on the rocks. And here we go. Mm. Why, that just looks fantastic. Smells like St. Clair's habit. <sighs> How holy is that? So since uh, St. Clair is the head sister, if you will, of the Franciscans, I thought I'd ask my good friend, Sister Quinn, to come and give this drink a try. Sister Quinn, what do you think? Mm -hmm. This looks delicious. Cheers. Cheers. So, I think the Kahlua is the only alcoholic thing in this, so it's it's not very, St. Clair was very sober, right? So what, what percentage is Kahlua? Kahlua? 35%, okay. <laughs> so how about the Rompo? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, oh, 12%. So St. Clair wasn't that sober. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes kind of like a mudslide. Like a mudslide. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's kind of s'moreish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a lot of vanilla. So what do you think? Does it channel the um, the spirit of St. Clair? I think so. I think she's praying for us as we're <laughs> yeah, drinking. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so we got this recipe from the book Drinking with the Saints, which you can find on Amazon. Just follow the link in the description. You can look up a recipe for any saint in the calendar of yeah. the Catholic Church. So if you want to find a drink that's specifically for your patron saint or maybe for your name day, then we highly recommend that book, Drinking with the Saints. Follow the link in the description. And cheers, cheers Sister Quinn. So if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and see more videos like this. Hello, I'm Brother Justin, and welcome to Boozin' with the Brothers. <laughs> Title scene. <laughs>